Hello, it's Jack16, and today we have some very sad news. Um, I've done a video on this a few years, uh, a few months ago, not years, and as you know, I'm a massive motorsport fan. I love my racing, Formula One, my favourite. But um, we've sadly lost Jaws Bianchi. Um, you may remember I've done a couple of videos on Formula One, just the talk about his accident and that, and I really, really hope he'd make a full recovery because he, he was definitely going to be the next world champion as soon as he got over Marussia and he was going to Ferrari. It would have been great to see. But, yeah, sadly, we've lost Jaws today. Um, and it is, it is sad. I, it had happened in my lifetime of a form, seeing a Formula 1 driver actually die. Ayrton Senna was 94 and I was born 92, but I didn't even know Formula 1 existed back then, so I don't recall that. So it's, it's very sad news, and it is devastating to me because I'm a massive motorsport fan, and we've lost some good drivers over the last few years, uh, Dan Wilden being one of them in IndyCar, even mo motorcycle riders, MotoGP, Marco Simicelli, he had a terrible accident, and... I've I've never been able to watch the footage of that since I saw it live. So it's it's very sad. Um, I don't really know what to say. But his accident was bad. Formula One. A lot of fans do like seeing the crashes and that. And personally, I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. I do like seeing crashes in Formula One. But with Formula One, you can have crashes because Formula One is a very very safe motorsport. Um, I mean, look at Robert Kubica's accident in 2007. That car was absolutely destroyed. You could see his legs hanging out of the front of the car. And all he had was a bruise on his back. So, it, I suppose it comes down to open cockpit. A lot of fatalities in open-wheeled motorsport is head injuries. Felipe Massa, 2009, was hit by a spring from Rubens Barrichello's Braun uh, car. And he was very lucky, i, I got to admit, I, I really didn't think he was going to make it after hearing what happened at and Senna and that. So I was very pleased with that. And like I said, you do expect to see crashes in motorsport and it is entertaining. And Formula 1, there was a big crash last year with Kimi Räikkönen at Silverstone. That was a massive crash. I mean, the front of the car went through the barrier. They had to red flag the race until the barrier was repaired. And he walked away with that fine. A bit winded, but he was fine. And he had a big crash at Austria this year as well. So, like, you do expect to see crashes. But, um, I don't know what to say, really. George Bianca's was a freak accident. Um, I, I don't know where we went off the track. I haven't really read about that. I have seen the footage, and it is terrible. And it's no one's fault, really. I mean, it was just everything was in the wrong place at the wrong time. You had the wet weather, track was getting dull. And it just started raining on that certain part of track where he was. So it's it's very sad news, and this video is is kind of dedicated to him. Um, he, I I do support all the Formula One drivers. I'm not just a Vettel fan, an Hamilton fan, Hamilton fan. I support Formula One as a motorsport. I really do, and I support all the drivers. I don't care who wins. I, I love seeing the rookies win. I love seeing the drivers come up through the field over the years and really working for their wins, and it's great to see. So, yes, it's very sad news about Jaws Bianchi. Um, his family, all my thoughts were his family straight away, and I'm sure nearly everyone who's a F1 fan is exactly the same. So it's very sad news, and we will miss you, Jaws. Bye for now and more coming soon.